Hello, I am Benjamin Lee with the TIDLP Catalog Application Support Team. Today we will show you how binary data is loaded to a DMD and displayed using a Discovery 4100 evaluation kit based on the DLP C410 controller with a DLP 9500 1080p DMD attached. These kits are available from our DLP Design House partners and are also available with the DLP 7000 XGA DMD. The topics we will cover today are the DMD array, row operations, both loading and addressing, and mirror clocking pulses using clocking pulse blocks. For simplicity, we will use the DLP 7000 XGA DMD for our discussion. The XGA DMD is composed of 768 rows with 1024 pixels in each row. Each micro mirror can be either on or off corresponding to binary 1 and 0. Underneath each physical micro mirror there is a CMOS memory cell which stores this binary data and must be loaded like any other memory. DMDs are loaded one row at a time. This means that 1024 bits of binary data must be sent to the DMD in order to load the memory in one row. For the DLP7000 XGA DMD, there are 32 parallel data input lines. In order to send the 1024 bits of data used to load the row, we must send 32 bits of data per data clock edge over 32 clock edges. This makes 16 full data clock cycles necessary to clock in one row's worth of data. The DLP9500 1080p DMD also uses 16 full data clock cycles, but 64 parallel data input lines. Each DMD row is addressable so that the row data sent to the DMD can be loaded into the row specified. Typically, this is done with an automatic counter that increases the row address with each row loaded. This is called sequential mode. It is also possible to randomly address only those rows that you wish to write data to. This is called random address mode. Let's use the Discovery 4100 evaluation kit to demonstrate loading the entire array with binary data. You will notice that there is already a binary image with Texas Instruments and the TI logo showing on the DMD. Let's execute a data load on the entire array with the binary image picture of DLP Texas Instruments with the DLP logo. Nothing seems to have happened. Rest assured that the data is loaded in the DMD CMOS memory array. However, the newly loaded data must now be transferred to the mechanical position of the micro mirrors. This transfer is accomplished by sending a mirror clocking pulse to the DMD array. These pulses momentarily release the micro mirrors and then relatch each micro mirror in the state determined by the CMOS memory cell underneath each pixel. Unlike row data, these pulses are sent on a blockwise basis to the DMD. For the DLP7000 XGA device, there are 16 blocks that are 48 rows tall. This means that all micro mirrors in a block are released and relatched simultaneously. Typically, the pulse is sent to all DMD blocks at once. This is called global mode. There are also other groupings of these blocks that can be addressed individually. Typically, it takes a micro mirror 1.5 to 2 microseconds to transition the micro mirror and about 13 microseconds to mechanically settle. Now we will send a global mirror clocking pulse to the entire array on our Discovery 4100 evaluation kit in order to display the data that we previously loaded to the DMD CMOS memory array. This demonstrates that the new data was in fact loaded in the memory array. The mirror clocking pulse has simply transferred the state of the CMOS memory cells to the mechanical position of the micro mirrors so that the DLP logo is now displayed. If you wish to learn more, please visit the TI.com website and navigate to the DLP 101 application note that discusses this subject in greater detail. Thank you for watching.